Hallelujah. Thank you, Philip. Thank you, Matateo. So I'm well equipped. Word of God is here. My notes are here. My water is here. My mask is on. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. And thank you, worship team, for remaining here. And as feel free to play. Uh, actually, you can start playing music, tap into the spiritual realm, and we will worship God. And today I am not here to preach. We are here to pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Worship team, uh, I will point at you. And whoever I point, you just speak your name and you will give a musical applaud to, to that person. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Esther. <laughs> Hallelujah. Give a musical applaud. I need to hear music. Come on. <laughs> Hallelujah. We'll do it again. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Esther. <laughs> Hallelujah. An overcomer. An overcomer. Okay. Uh, prophetic verse songs and music and vision. Hallelujah. Speak your name. Primrose. Primrose. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. An overcomer. Oh, my master, Lord, mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Amel. Amel. Hallelujah. Philip. Hallelujah. You have mic there, my brother. Hallelujah. The, the drums which will beat with the beats of the Lord and heavenly music is going to come down today here. Amen. Hallelujah. So once again, greetings in the name of my Lord Jesus Christ. So when these people are praying, they have not two sets of lives. They are open. You can check them 24 by 7. If you need prayer, you can call them. And I have that confidence because they stand here. They are not having desires of flesh, lust of flesh. They have overcome. They do have, but they overcome. Hallelujah. Thank you. Come on. Play, play music that we are overcomers. And this over spirit of overcoming, when we are praying here, shall impart to all our viewers right out there. Hallelujah. And we will we will tarry in prayer. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So today, our topic is prayer. Hallelujah. So once again, I'll repeat, we are not going to preach. We are going to pray. And we will go through word of God to see how sin came in and why it came in and what our ancestors didn't do because the history this is the word of God when we have doubts when we want to know we go into it it is very very pure and it is very very impartial if a man of God did anything wrong it is written why it is written so we could see what he could not do or didn't do so we can tap into it and say Lord Though I am not as great as Moses, I am not great as this guy, we are not as great as David. But what they didn't do, I will do it my God. Because this example is there. And I will pray that you will bless me to be overcome. To overcome lust of flesh, to overcome my desires, overcome all those things which set me up. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord. God is blessed today. Oh, hallelujah. Worship team, feel free. If guitar becomes heavy, you can put it down and start clapping and pray. You can pray in your tongues. You can kneel down. You can pray. Don't keep their mic there. You can pray in, 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 a, in a smaller voice because what they are doing, it is heavenly. This is going to impact you and touch you right there in your bedroom if you are listening, in your living room if you are listening. Hallelujah. Across the world if you are listening tap into the spiritual realm right now because God is going to set us free today. Hallelujah. Okay, we'll go to prayer to know our purpose. God created us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, that you created us. Why he created us? What is our position? What is our duty? What is our purpose? Hallelujah. Acts chapter 13, verse 47. Light to Gentiles. Isaiah 43, verse 7. Created for God's glory. Hallelujah. Genesis 1, 26 and 28. Created in His image. Created in God's image. You are created in God's image. To have dominion over the creation. Over the creation. Man, now you can go to Google Maps. And you can go to Moon. 
go to satellite mode you can go to moon and you can go explore the moon and to some of the planets we are mapping the whole creation of god into internet so so god created us to have dominion over his creation hallelujah whole purpose of creation was that he wanted to create man hallelujah thank you jesus oh hallelujah i hope we get the purpose and image of god in which he created us thank you jesus ephesians 2:10 created for good works ephesians created for good works to do good works for god already designed through lord jesus christ god has already created good works for each one of you whether you are christian or not christian wherever you are you are image of almighty god and you are created to do good works hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus now check yourself are you created for good works are you doing good works are you reflecting image of god are you glory of god oh do you ref- reflect the splendor of glory of god hallelujah thank you jesus sir or the neighbor who is doing all sinful things or doing bad things oh uh, he is better than you in so many things and you say hey, he is better human being than me oh my dear god woe to you and you call yourself christians hallelujah if it is hurting you forgive me but that's the truth we are created to give glory to god in everything because we are his glory hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus created to do good works ephesians 2:10 first peter 5 verse 6 and 7 to be humble and exalted by god to be humble whatever you do do humbly do with servant's attitude that god will exalt us not me me i will exalt myself by my knowledge by my authority by my wealth whatever it may be but creating my position no it is god who will position us hallelujah yeah. thank you jesus sir how oh, he created us to humble ourselves under hand of god so he can exalt us hallelujah thank you jesus sir first peter 5 verse 6 and 7 to be humble and exalted by god ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13 fear god and keep his commandments that's our duty it says that's our duty to fear god and keep his commandments fear god are you doing your duty are you keeping the commandments are you pure in your eyes in your flesh in your desires are you burying your desires which are unwanted which will take you astray from your purpose hallelujah so this is why we are created this is just few verses what i picked up you will find hundreds of verses in the bible what you are what's your purpose what's your duty but these are enough to analyze and judge yourself before we go further in prayer hallelujah so we call for prayer wherever you are raise your hand and see if you are glory to god if you are display of splendor of his glory hallelujah ah khara rara sikhara ba isaiah 43 verse 7 whom i created for my glory whom i created for my glory are you giving glory to god if anything you are convicted raise your hand right now and we will pray hallelujah worship team let's pray oh pray through your music khara ba 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 sikhara ba raise it raise it praise it hallelujah oh raise your hands come on and say i am a child of god i am I am redeemed by his blood Thank you Lord I am redeemed Thank you Lord Hallelujah I am redeemed Oh oh I am the light to the gentiles gentiles who are the gentiles those who do not know our lord jesus christ those who do not understand glory of god those who who may be very good people but they do not know what salvation is through lord jesus christ so we have to tell them tell them not because they are better than us but to know something what we know and then they don't know hallelujah many times people my friends who may be hindu and muslim they are better than me hallelujah but i tell them i tell them hey hallelujah to get 
to the Lord, to your maker. There is a way which is very simple. Trust in the Lord and He will take care of you. He will cleanse you and He will make a way that you will sup with Him in heaven and you will not go to hell. Hallelujah. We are not making anybody Christian because we are not good examples. Hallelujah. We are giving them the way to go to their maker. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So let's pray and claim this that I will the glory of God. If I am a Christian, I am a glory of God. If I am Christian, I was, I'm created in the image of God. If I am a Christian, I am created to do good works. I am created, I am created for good works. I will humble myself that God will exalt me. People may insult me. People may mock me. People, people can do anything to me, but it will not shift my position. I am child of God. I am glory of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's move further. If we know our position, our purpose and duty, to keep His commandments and fear God and do everything with weighing with word of God, do everything in our authority, in our wisdom, to bank to the Lord and do things. Hallelujah. Now we'll go to safeguard against deception. Now we'll go through Bible, how the first sin came. We all know Adam sinned, but it was Eve and Adam both sinned. Hallelujah. And Genesis chapter 3 reveals that to us. And I will I will just skim the verses. Genesis chapter 3 verse 1. <laughs> Devil created a doubt. The serpent created a doubt in the woman. Has God indeed said has God indeed said that you will die if you touch this tree or the fruit? And then woman said, verse second and three. See, she told her knowledge that what God said, she said, yes, we will die if we touch this. So what devil does with all of us? First, he gives us a doubt. He tells us, okay, then God created this immorality himself. If homosexuality is there, then God created it. He gives a question mark to put doubt. Then he said, what's your position? She said, no. God said he is creating man and a woman to be with one another to produce offsprings. Hallelujah. That was the purpose to make man and woman. To, to fill the earth. To have dominion over the earth. Like we said, Genesis. Ha, on last when we were reading Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 and 28 we were created in the image of God to have dominion on the earth hallelujah multiply and subdue it all these things are there so hallelujah thank you Jesus so devil devil gives a doubt doubt created first sin did God indeed say this and then you say yes he did but the doubt is inside your mind then he gives then he tells the benefits and those benefits are real lie what he said this fruit is desirable it will give you knowledge it will make you like God it will make you like God now I want to highlight something they were already made in the image of God they were like God already devil cannot give you world cannot give you anything which you don't have already but he packages it in such a way that you say, Oh, I don't have this. But they had eternal life. They wouldn't have died. He said, You will become like God. Your eyes will open. You will have wisdom. Oh, he is giving you the same thing which you already have. And this, now this opens a door that she looks at that fruit which she had never looked before. She looks at that fruit because the doubt is working. And she said, wow, what a beautiful fruit. It's desirable to I. And in verse 4, 5, and 6, lust of eyes. She said, it is good. And it is desirable because it will make me like God. Huh. How poor we are that we get deceived. The same thing is working right now. You go, go to internet, type anything. You will get a worldly view which will contradict biblical view hallelujah and then you will start thinking oh isn't this right hallelujah because now you are looking into it you are looking into it where you never looked into it 
because you know that's wrong now you are looking into it hallelujah and desire lust of eye lust of flesh all this thing rises up eve looked at the fruit and saw that it was beautiful it was desirable and then it is desirable because it will make me like god how oh, poor eve the poor us that we are like god but we don't realize we are hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah so let's pray how oh, wherever you are my brothers and sister wherever doubt crept in and your knowledge is questioned your knowledge is questioned and you belittle your knowledge because it comes from word of god how oh, hallelujah raise your hands wherever you are and let's pray for any doubt doubt comes from the enemy we put the doubt under our feet we know we are image of god we know what we know is right and what world is serving is not right hallelujah we will never doubt word of god because this is the authority this is the manual which we need to follow for this life hallelujah thank you forgive me lord forgive me lord if i doubted and i desired and i gave into that desire oh my master lord heavenly father lust of eye lust of flesh oh karava seek karava lust of my ears lust of my mouth my god lord heavenly father i want to create an image mighty god i have already an image i don't know i want to create with my mouth my god lord heavenly father i want to hear something what my ears are not tuned to hear my soul is not tuned to receive oh forgive me forgive me forgive me forgive me forgive me lord and deliver me deliver me from doubt from desires from lust oh and if god takes you right now in the memory let holy spirit open up your memory right now and if god shows you something oh you say i forgive me lord forgive me forgive me forgive me i will follow you i will follow you i will follow you oh even if it hurts this mask if i agree with it or i don't agree with it but it is it is and i need you to protect me even if it is hurtful i will use it even if i don't agree with this i will obey government as word of god says obey your authority hallelujah i am not bashing upon those people who are protesting on the street because they think this is not right but i will obey rather word of god and obey authority oh and and put this even it is undesirable hallelujah thank you jesus that's word of god that's how the christians are supposed to be that's how you are supposed to be even if it hurts we follow god even if it hurts it hurts i don't like this mask to speak like this it irritates my 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 nostrils my mouth but i will keep it on that's word of god you have to keep it even if it hurts hallelujah thank you jesus my god if i was uncomfortable speaking your name in front of others mighty god and if people were talking bad and i laugh with them because i want to gel with them forgive me lord forgive me lord forgive me lord i will do it even if it hurts thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus now now we go on to genesis 3 verse 12 and verse 13 oh ha when we are confronted when authority catches us oh kharaba si khalaba what we do we accuse other and justify ourselves what did adam said he said she gave me the fruit now sin begets sin sin begets sin must was disobedience now it is accusing other whom you love whom you love and there is only one that time adam and eve if you need something you will run to her if she need something she will run to him hallelujah you will accuse your very beloved because now you are confident she gave me and what did uh, eve said serpent deceived me serpent deceived me what is wrong in this picture what is wrong in this picture adam said what will be your response when you are caught by god oh my friend made me see this pornography i was deceived into their their company oh i was i deceived they just called me it's a real plain party and they gave me a drink and i drank it because everybody was drinking and then i lost my senses 
that I ended up in a compromised situation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, my Master Lord, Heavenly Father. My friend did it, not me. Oh, hallelujah. Once you stepped in, child of God, sensing everything with word of God, oh, this is an holy place. Back off. But I didn't because I wanted to show how cool I am. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So what Adam, what Eve should have done? Forgive me, Lord. I sinned against you. Forgive me, Lord. Go on your knees. Don't accuse your brother, your sister, your wife, your children. Oh, hallelujah. Go on your knees. Say, forgive me, Lord. That's why this is written here very clearly. They didn't go on your knees. And we'll go on. We'll see every sin and destruction that happened because somebody didn't go on his knees. Hallelujah. We'll see that from word of God. Hallelujah. Oh, accusation and justification that I am right, others are wrong. Oh, thank you, Jesus. So right now, I call wherever you are, again, get up from your seat. If God reminds you that you accused others and justify yourself. Oh, hallelujah. Maybe your justification is right. Maybe your accusation is right. But you sinned against God. Hallelujah. So raise your hands and remember, may Holy Spirit open your mind wherever you accused others and justified yourself, even as a child. Oh, my brother made me do it. My sister made me do it. Oh, forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord. However God leads you. Oh, karaba, si kalaba, si karaba. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord. I will not do this again. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, safeguard against deception, doubt. Oh, hallelujah. Which leads to desire and lust. Karaba, si kalaba, si karaba, si karaba. Oh, I'll speak to the viewers who know Hindi. I'll repeat it in English. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, desire. Desire conceives. Oh, God. Sin. And when sin is full grown, produces death. Hallelujah. Kurraba si kalaba ti kalaba. Desire. It starts with desire. First sin started with desire. Kurraba. Desire was germinated in Eve's heart. Oh, Karaba si kalaba. And she said, Kurraba. So desire. Be yourself in your desires. Kurraba si kalaba. Oh, okay. Now we go further. We move on from Adam and Eve to the children. First murder. Why it happened? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. If we see word of God, Genesis chapter 4 in your home, if you read it fully, it will give you the full picture. And we all know the story. Oh, hallelujah. We know that story that Cain and Abel, they gave an offering. Cain's was not accepted, but Abel's was accepted. Oh, mighty God. And Abe, Cain became angry. Cain became angry. Why he became angry? Because he was jealous that his offering was better than mine. God accepted it, not mine. I am the firstborn. It was rightfully my offering should have been accepted. He became angry. Oh, hallelujah. Second sin happened because of jealousy, based in anger. So let's pray. Oh, hallelujah. I call you right now. Oh, come on, worship team. We are, we are, we are giving them. We are flowing in the spirit. Oh, to remind everyone of their own jealousy. Everyone who is sitting wherever, who is listening to this, if remind yourself when you were jealous and when you are anger. And you acted upon that anger. You fed that anger and jealousy and acted in flesh. You did not overcome it. Oh, my master, Lord, heavenly father, wherever that jealousy was and wherever that anger was directed, God, I forgive those people against people jealous or anger and forgive myself I walk into that situation right now when I was jealous and I was angry oh hallelujah it equates to murder I murdered that person oh Ra, in spirit because I was angry and I was jealous I was against that person and who was cre also created in the image of God forgive me Lord forgive me Lord forgive me 
forgive me my sins my dear God because I didn't sin against men I sin against you oh if I hate my brother he is created in your image I sin against you oh hallelujah thank you Jesus forgive me forgive me for jealousy forgive me for anger oh forgive me for being frustrated with others oh hallelujah thank you Jesus you are good God hallelujah oh hallelujah hallelujah God is forgiving God if your prayer is true you are forgiven for your jealousy and anger so means you are acquitted from the murder which you don't even know you did hallelujah thank you Jesus because last outcome of jealousy and anger is murder this is how that happened so now prayer against insecurity and fear what happens when a child of God a Christian he doesn't know himself and he is jealous you are a child of God and you already committed the crime of jealousy then you are angry and you murdered somebody or you did a crime which you were not supposed to do you destroyed a property you worked against somebody you slandered somebody in your anger you are trying to murder that person with your words whatever it was when you are confronted and when things settle in and you know oh I did wrong what happens we'll see in word of God what happened here to Cain when God confronted him what happens oh verse 13 Genesis chapter 4 verse 13 and 14 he said Cain said my punishment is great my punishment he know now he cannot escape you are driving fast you got in an accident police has to come oh, they will check if you are wrong you are wrong if your punishment is great you have your points go to minus six and you have to pay so much fine you have to pay my punishment is great there is no escaping the punishment hmm. but my dear friends I did sometimes something wrong when police caught me I said I am really sorry fine or no fine I am really sorry I was not supposed to do that and I did it I am really sorry I didn't say because I was following one time one person and he was driving fast and I didn't realize it was school zone I was caught and that person was also caught six car I was the sixth in line I could have disputed it that I was following the traffic which was going at faster than required and I, I did I did do that but I was distracted I was also talking to my daughter who was sitting on my side there was a long time and she was in school and my family was also there I was fine what did I say to officer I he said you are driving fast you can dispute it because you know I can because I was I was the sixth in line there was six car standing right there I said I am already sorry for what I did I tried to obey word of God I want to portray that he is my glory money he will give me but I own it up I am sorry already for what I did thank you Jesus here when Cain was confronted he didn't say I'm sorry for what I did he said my punishment is great and whoever finds me shall kill me now your focus is on the outcome of the punishment and fear hits you fear hits you so prayer against insecurity and fear what was wrong what is wrong in this picture he didn't go on his knees say Lord forgive me because Lord has already half forgiven him for death it is death punishment for death is death if you kill somebody you shall be killed that is the law of nature that was the initial law mosaic law if you murder somebody that family can murder you if you, if you cut somebody's hand your hand shall be cut oh holy eye for an eye that was the natural justice but what he said my punishment is great ha huh. anybody who finds me kill me he didn't say Lord forgive me we are saying Lord forgive me now because we know this and what happened he didn't say forgive me God gives him power God gives him power he said okay since you cried out to me 
I will give you power. God put a mark on his head. What kind of mark is that? See, if anybody harms you, he will be harmed seven folds. He will be harmed seven folds. Means there is this power which is visible. What is that power on his head? It is visible. Anybody who comes near him, he will know. Oh, he is under protection of Almighty God. If I harm him, I will be harmed seven times by Almighty God. Fear will hit him and he will back off. He was given power in spite of sinning. In spite of not saying sorry. So when we get away, maybe we sinned. Maybe we sinned and nobody knows. Maybe I sinned and nobody knows and I'm preaching from here. Because nobody knows what I did. Woe to me. I'll go on my knees and say, Lord, forgive me. If that's the case with you, my friends, who are listening, who are sitting here, raise your hand. Even if nobody knows your sin, God knows it and He's waiting. He's giving you chance after chance because the grace of Lord Jesus Christ is with us. He's interceding. Give my son a chance. Give my daughter a chance. Give my brother a chance. Give them a chance, Lord. Oh, oh don't. Don't burn them alive. Oh, don't put them to hell. Oh, warn them. Oh, hallelujah. God is warning us. If your sin is hidden, nobody knows. Nobody needs to know. God knows it already. Raise your hand right now to God. Say, Lord, forgive me. Come on, worship team. Let's release this. Let's release this. Oh, mighty God. Mighty God. The decisions we made in fear and insecurity and acted upon it instead of going on our knees, my God. We use our wisdom. Mighty God, forgive us. Forgive us. Forgive that sin. Forgive that sin, mighty God. Oh, we will not do what Cain did. Oh, karaba, see karaba. Imagine if we get power like Cain. What we will do it? We will humble ourselves under the hand of God that He will exalt us. Forgive us, Lord. We will move forward. We will be for move forward. Oh, power. Power corrupts. Power corrupts. Blessing can corrupt you. Power is blessing. No power comes to you without God's agreement. If you are rich, God blesses you and your ancestors. Oh, if you, if you have a strong body, good physique, God bless your forefathers and you. Oh, hallelujah. If you are wonderful and beautiful, everybody admires you, man or woman, because God blessed you. You can humble yourself and exalt God and God will exalt you. You can humble yourself under God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But power corrupts. Let's see what happens. Next sin, which is related to this one. What happens? Huh, Cain gets power. And his ancestor down the line, Lamech, in Genesis chapter 4, verse 15, onwards, verse 24. Huh, hallelujah. What it says. Oh, what Lamech says. No, no. Oh, oh. Verse 15 Genesis chapter 4 13 to 15 you can read And 15 oh. It says Whoever kills Cain Vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold And the Lord set a mark on Cain Lest anyone find him Shot kill him this was the power given okay and Genesis 4 verse 24 it says if Cain shall be even sevenfold then Lamech 77 times oh hallelujah hallelujah what happened here power corrupts because his ancestors were blessed in spite of his sin God did not take that power away from his family and it goes and grows and grows and everybody grows in themselves not humbling themselves under the Lord. Oh, if your ancestor killed one person, you have killed three. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Imagine that. If they were jealous, you are super jealous. If they hated people, you are full of hatred. 
Oh, hallelujah. If they were rich and they were prideful, you are super prideful in your riches. If they were smart in their mind, because God blessed them in their mind. Oh, mighty God, what you are doing with that mind right now. Hallelujah. Power corrupts. A blessing can corrupt you if you do not humble and put that blessing under the authority of the Lord. So let's pray. Mighty God, wherever we are, raise your hand and see what is the blessing in you and your family. Check what is the blessing in you and your family. See if it is the riches, if it is the good physique, if it is the good looks, if it is the wealth, if it is authority, if it is the power. What is the blessing in your family? Oh mighty God and what you are doing with that blessing. What you are doing with that blessing. Hallelujah. Another curse is, oh Kharaba Sika, that you take that blessing and bury it. You are not doing anything with it. We pray right now, mighty God. Whatever blessings you have given through generations to my family, my God, I humble myself. I will use that blessing under the hand of Almighty God. Oh, humbly serve people with my riches, with my strength, with my beauty. Whatever it takes, I will serve your people. You said if you love me, die for your brethren. Oh, mighty God, I will do that. Bless me, my God, that I shall be a blessing. Bless me, Lord. Right now, in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, everybody who is listening, say, bless me now. Oh, bless me now that I will be blessing to others because I will humble myself under the hand of Almighty God in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, I can equate this with a jail experience. If, if, if suppose my friend or my relative or my son, oh, they did something and they are going to jail. I don't agree with them what they did. I will say, oh, you did wrong. I'll pray. I'll, I'll bless him that God will change and protect him. But when he's going to jail, Oh, he'll say, Dad, I cannot do anything. My friend, I cannot do anything. I'm going to jail. And there are bad people there. They will do bad things to me. What should I do? I really have contacts in Raja. And if you are going to jail, call me. I'll call few people up. And a big guy will come there. Three times bigger than you. Or me. <laughs> and say, hey, he is my friend. Nobody touch him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In spite of I didn't agree with what he or she did, I will try to do it and I'll do it. Because I love you. You are creation of Almighty God. Not to be defiled by anything. Hallelujah. So God did exactly the same when he gave this power to Cain when he was going to wilderness. Oh, hallelujah. So when you sin and you are going away from God, God will still protect you, my dear. Oh, don't bloat on that power that I can do great things. I can fight with 10 people. I can still survive. Oh, hallelujah. Others will die before me and I will escape. Oh, God is protecting you big time. Hallelujah. Because you are known by His name still. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So let's move on and go. Repent for perversion and immorality. Oh, hallelujah. Now we see sin. It starts from doubt, desire, lust, oh, jealousy, hatred. And now what it is? They are very simple thing. When the big sin came into the world and came into us, and it's still operating, so we have to identify that. And we'll pray it over. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. We'll, you can... Read in your own time Genesis chapter 6 fully and it will enlighten you. This is before the flood and what happens? Sons of God came into daughters of men. And men of renown were born. They were known for their strength. I leave it at that. And you can summarize this is chapter 6. And then Noah, we go forward. Genesis chapter 6, verse 9. Noah was just and perfect in the eyes of the Lord. God found Noah there. And amid, amid this corruption, where there are people who are offsprings of not 
naturally conceived people hallelujah thank you jesus oh then we go to verse 10 ha noah's son there are shem ham and japheth then we go to verse 11 earth was corrupted before god earth was corrupted all flesh had corrupted their ways all flesh all flesh fishes animals human beings all flesh got corrupted it starts with sons of god sleeping with daughters of men and if you go you can see pictures men half man half animal all mythology all old paintings all old sculptures you can go and check people worship those things which are supernaturally powerful they are concoction of man and beast hallelujah all flesh got corrupted oh oh that corruption is still going on how god cleansed the earth outcome was flood no a priest nobody heard flood came god judged but no i had a wife no i had a wife she was from the world and her gene followed that corruption still lives in us that's why we are called born of sin born of sin but lord first did it with flood next said did it fire and sodom and gomorrah then we go in judges he did with sword see kill men children and animal it sounds very 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 bad inhumane but what god was doing what he did with flood with water what he did with fire now he did it with sword he was cutting off that corrupted deed which were creating monsters so that his promise because god says i will claim what is mine a child and an innocent child if he dies where is he going he's going to his maker because he is sinless god says that in the word of god we cannot just be child like if you want to go to heaven be child like if you want to go to heaven so if a child died god says i claim what is mine there's no loss to god it sounds inhumane but before that guy said he is with the lord hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus god claimed his and those who were destroyed god cut it off and now he put us in a position put us in a position that we have ability to say yes and no we are not overpowered by a corrupted sinful gene hallelujah thank you jesus let's go forward oh all flesh got corrupted and then judgment came i'll read two verses here i'll not expound on them but you can think it is about judgment jude chapters uh jude verses 6 and 8 and the angels who did not keep their proper domain but left their own abode he has reserved in everlasting chains under darkness for the judgment of the great day so sodom and gomorrah and the cities around them in a similar manner to those having given themselves over to sexual immorality and gone after strained flesh are set forth as an example suffering the vengeance of eternal life how and verse 8 likewise now this is present this is for us this is for example the angels and men were punished judged now likewise also these dreamers defile the flesh reject authority and speak evil of dignitaries this is we now verse six says telling judgment of god six and seven eight is telling our position right now in current generation likewise all these dreamers defile the flesh reject authority speak evil of dignitaries don't speak evil of dignity don't defile your flesh whatever world says hallelujah thank you jesus second peter chapter 4 verse 4 to 6 i'll just read it quickly how oh. for if god did not spare the angels who sinned but cast them down to hell and delivered them into the chains of dark and this is not talking about lucifer these angels are already in chains delivered them into ch- 
chains of darkness to be reserved for judgment these angels are in chains and did not spare the ancient world but save noah everybody died save noah and his family eight people a preacher of righteousness he's talking about noah bringing in the flood on the whole world of the ungodly and turning the cities of sodom and gomorrah into ashes condemn them to destruction make him now this is for now example for us making them an example to those who afterward afterwards would live ungodly sodom and gomorrah flood that is an example for us what will happen to ungodly god did not even spare angels who corrupted the and defiled the mankind they are already in hell in chains hallelujah if he did not spare his own angels and he did not spare his creation he flooded it he fired it up woe to us if we still are dwelling and not heeding to this example so let's pray hallelujah wherever you are wherever you are raise your hand say lord i will heed to this example of word of god i'll not doubt it oh hallelujah thank you jesus your judgment is fierce oh mighty god the hell is real oh mighty god the hell is real and you are speaking to us you are telling us oh mighty god to be righteous through blood of lord jesus christ i apply right now blood of lord jesus christ right now if i was sexually immoral if my thoughts were immoral if i was looking beyond my legitimate partner oh my master lord heavenly father if i was desiring perverted things my god lord heavenly father oh mighty god if curiosity kills the cat if i was curious that everybody is enjoying this uh, this videos uh, and i went into it uh, and i started enjoying them oh mighty god oh my master lord heavenly father forgive me forgive me forgive me forgive me forgive me deliver me with blood of lord jesus christ deliver me mighty god deliver me with blood of lord jesus christ oh mighty god that the perversity will be far from me oh mighty god mighty god my lord immorality sexual immorality oh will be far from me my god oh my master lord heavenly father oh mighty god immorality between men and and beast my god lord heavenly father which is being prevalent mighty god and people become curious to see into it my master lord heavenly father oh mighty god it will be vomit to be my god oh hallelujah i will not be even curious to look into it oh and if i already left mighty god cleanse my eyes with blood of lord jesus christ my god cleanse me mighty god as i have done that and i am i am ashamed of it my god lord heavenly father but i had cried out and you have forgiven me my god my master lord oh hallelujah my god and these people standing here they are the overcomers examples they live in the same world they had the choices they clicked the buttons but they overcame hallelujah so you shall overcome god word says you shall overcome you shall overcome through lord jesus christ hallelujah thank you jesus oh mighty god through blood of lord jesus christ i will overcome any kind of perversion and immorality hallelujah khura basi khala basi khara basi kara oh oh hallelujah now what happened sexual immorality destroyed sexual immorality violence all kind of corruption destroyed the whole earth earth is cleansed but sin finds its way again hallelujah what happens prayer against addiction hurt pain insult addiction hurt pain insult and this thing can happen when you are not necessarily doing wrong thing you are trying to do good thing but it starts with losing control let's look into word of god oh hallelujah <coughs> Uh, Genesis 9 verse 20 to 25 What Noah did What Noah did he became the master of the soil he started planting and he planted a vineyard oh then he made wine and the wine was so wonderful that he drank of it maybe he was tasting and enjoying nothing wrong with tasting wine and enjoying but losing control is sin and he lost control and what happens he didn't know 
and he was naked he was naked and and him saw him laughed at him and whatever happened that that time we know that story his other sons they walked backwards and covered him without seeing they honored their father even when he was foolish even when he gave in to it to think what he created and he lost control when you lose control you are away from god because you do not know what is happening you can lose control to anger you can lose control to a blessing like you are a very good cook and you cook so much that you gloat in your cooking and you say wow everybody is happy and they are praising you can lose control and you are not under hand of god you are not humbling yourself you lose control so losing control you may be reading a book i may be watching a movie then i continue watching one after another i continue watching one after another there are bad words in it and i still watch them i i'll ignore this bad word the the the, the, the story ends very good i am studying i want to recreate myself i i i i not a bad thing you are recreating a little bit but that recreation goes on you lost control over your own schedule it's a sin losing control is a sin you are deceived you are deceived so what happened noah lost control noah lost control and because of this sodom and gomorrah happened later on because he was drunk i will show you through word of god how sodom and gomorrah is related to noah losing control by drinking little wine oh hallelujah thank you jesus what happened ham comes and who was ham he was the father of canaan and when noah came to his senses and he realized he was humiliated he was insulted and he was angry what his son did to him noah did not go to his knees like we have seen from adam and eve these people from cain lamech nobody went to his knees noah didn't went to his knees say lord forgive me for losing control and he cursed canaan's canaan ham's youngest son he had three sons can younger son youngest is always so close to you because he is the one whom you are hugging more you are admiring more he cursed canaan oh he cursed canaan and what happened to canaan oh we can see word of god oh oh you can read genesis chapter 10 verse 6 to 18 that is the genealogy of ham and his children and canaan and canaanites where they settled down canaanites settled down in verse 18 and 19 genesis chapter 10 verse 18 and 19 will show you where canaan's offspring settled oh they settled from sidon towards gerar gaza towards sodom gomorrah Edma, Zeboim, as far as Lasha, and Bible clearly says Sodom and Gomorrah and all the plains there were destroyed. And you can see them right now. This is not a fake story, thousands of years back, but it is true. You can go there and see Sodom and Gomorrah right now. You can Google it; it will appear. You can go there and see it. It's a preserved site. Everything. pyramids monuments they have become like ash you can touch them and it will, they will crumble you can put, you can pick up still surfal and brimstone there it is there and you you take a matches and they will burn super heated where it came from it came from heaven bible says it there is no volcano right there it came from heaven it destroyed completely you can check it out it is for your exam sodom and gomorrah flood there are signs of flood all over the world the sodom and gomorrah is still there burnt ashes but preserved you can see it hallelujah what happened canaan's offspring because that generation was cursed no one didn't want to knees and and cried out lord forgive me and forgive my children what they did god have 
plan something different so if you have cursed your children in your anger you did something stupid they laughed at you and you curse them oh hallelujah if you are listening and you have ever cursed your children reverse it right now right now is the time come on worship team release this forgiveness that this curse will be reversed on kids oh hallelujah and all of those who have not done this make a commitment that they will not use their authority to curse somebody under them that sodom and gomorrah will happen again jealousy will turn into murder oh hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus wherever you are get up oh we are all saying for now what is but when we are angry we say things to our wife to our husband to our children oh hallelujah we pray mighty god all authority based curses what we have said negative about people oh mighty god we reverse them forgive me i repent i repent lord forgive me forgive me and bless my children bless people who work under me bless people mighty god who have hurt me oh mighty god if my curse was justified and i curse them my god lord heavenly father forgive me i change my words mighty god and let holy spirit guide you if it gives you if he gives you words what you have spoken reverse them physically oh by saying against them i cancel those words i bless this person i bless my husband i bless my wife oh oh i bless people who work under me oh hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus no more sodom and gomorrah will happen because i curse somebody oh hallelujah oh no people will die because in the fire mighty god of hell because i said something wrong oh mighty god forgive me forgive me forgive me hallelujah oh khara baba si khala si khere de 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 oh mighty god oh mighty god oh so addiction is basically losing control and when you lose control hurt pain insult humiliation acts on you and you curse we have we are delivered from it right now if you are true in your spirit you are delivered from this curses are reversed into blessings and we move forward oh hallelujah we are about to close there is one more point oh kharaba si khalaba oh there is another outcome to sodom and gomorrah it didn't stop there it didn't stop there oh bible says that do not sit in the seat of marcus do not even stand in the path of sinners because they shall be destroyed hallelujah what lot did he was sitting with the mockers he was sitting with the sinners perverted people sexually immoral he raised his family in that oh hallelujah what happens when he escapes with his two daughters and his wife dies because she disobeys they went far away oh mighty god genesis says 19 Oh. Tells this clearly, but I will touch only two verses. Noah's uh, Lot's daughters, elder daughter, firstborn and second. They said they were. Now what we will be praying here? Ah, oh. oh, pray for deliverance from curse of sinful birth. curse of sinful birth and sinful birth happens here what happens here daughter is insecure and fearful what will happen to our generation they have, they were good girls but they were lonely and you are lonely alone because of corona virus sitting there hallelujah you can make a foolish choice hallelujah so what happened here The daughter makes her father drunk so much that he loses loses complete control, complete control, and then she sleeps with her, and she conceived a child. Verse thirty-seven. The firstborn bore a son and named him Moab, and father of Moabites. Father of Moabites. Verse thirty-eight. The younger daughter bore a son named. Ben, Ben Ami, Ami, 
father of ammonites ben ami ammonites father of ammonites and now we can go to deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 3 to 6 but i will just highlight the first line i will read it and ammonite or moabite they are they are cursed generation Ammonite or Moabite shall not enter the assembly of Lord even to the 10th generation none of us descendants shall enter the assembly of the Lord Hallelujah up to 10th generation they are separated from God because that gene cannot be cured up to 10th generation it will be so strong they will do what they did and then word 3 to 6 you will see what they did against children of God you will see because they were cursed hallelujah their birth was conceived sinful oh karaba si kalaba so let's pray if you are an outcome of sinful birth and you know it oh hallelujah but if you know somebody who is in that position we intercede for them right now in your family and your friends wherever these people are and if you know it let's raise them let's pray and release the uh, blood of God Jesus Christ to cleanse us from this sin hallelujah we pray my god lord heavenly father if any one of us was conceived sinfully my god lord heavenly father my master lord heavenly father oh mighty god my lord that there was incest involved or there was another things involved there was in, in, immorality involved oh my master multiple partners were involved or whatever was there mighty god that birth was sinful my god lord heavenly father we bring blood of lord jesus christ to cleanse us from this sin my god lord heavenly father if we know it or we don't know it mighty god my master lord heavenly father we bring blood of lord jesus christ on ourselves right now wherever we are raise your head and intercede for people if you know uh, call them by name unto the lord you don't have to tell anybody tell the lord mighty god because we are created to intercede for people jesus are his intercessor they are head priest oh we come to jesus and say lord forgive this person my god and cleanse him with your blood my master god mighty god he didn't know that he a curse bath but he is also having your image because you created mankind in your image to give you glory my master through lord jesus christ we have redemption oh hallelujah thank you jesus so loneliness and insecurity oh get create oh sadam and gamora another outcome of perversion oh kharaba si khalaba now the good news is what is the good news hallelujah let me ask somebody oh hallelujah oh josiah come here i think you can share the good news oh come here quickly oh he is my youngest son who kharaba singa but god bless him for sharing what he's sharing go on go there and speak to everyone john 3:16 for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life hallelujah come on give it a blast oh hallelujah give it a blast hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus we have redemption through blood of lord jesus christ we are healed we are forgiven if he shed chapter 1 verse 7 says in him we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace we are under the grace of lord jesus christ thank you lord thank you lord oh hallelujah okay if you really repented and prayed so we are delivered through blood of lord jesus christ in all the points we have said and may god open more points may word of god open more things to you that you will stand righteous with blood of lord jesus christ oh hallelujah and things that you have not done but your ancestors have done and will not control you anymore because blood of lord jesus christ redeems us oh hallelujah thank you jesus okay so let's all stand up wherever we are let's all stand up and say oh mighty god i am redeemed i am redeemed through blood of lord jesus christ and i thank you lord thank you lord for my salvation that you died for us you purchased us with your blood oh thank you lord shout it out and be really thankful from the bottom of your heart oh thank you lord come on give him praise come on clap it out oh baby 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 far 
God, we can clap, we can rejoice because God has delivered us today. God has delivered us today. We are redeemed. We are forgiven generation. Oh, Rabasi Kalabati Karabasi Kara. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. We have eternal life. We are created in the image of Almighty God. Oh, hallelujah. Let's praise Him. Let's praise Him. Give Him glory because He is a God. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. If you want, you can say thank you, Lord, in your music and we'll close it. Thank you, Lord. 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 Let God be blessed and exalted through us. Let's go home. And if you are already in your home, put on Lord Jesus Christ. You are redeemed. You are a new creation. Oh, hallelujah. Let's do great and mighty things which may against our flesh. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Empower us. Thank you, church, for bearing with me. Oh, thank you. Thank you. May God bless you. Bless me. This is more speaking word of God to myself. Not pounding on you. It's a double-edged sword. Let it go through me. And I will do all those things what I said today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Be blessed. Thank you.